Hey everyone, I've got with me the Managing Director of Coronas, Andrew Coronas himself. How are you, Andrew? Good, Tom. How are you? Hello, really everyone. good. Yeah. Whenever we have a Q&A, it's always at a high level leadership, macro type content. And yes. I want to ask you, you've made a big statement declaring that the traditional real estate office is dead. Why do you think that's happened now? It's fairly simple. Energy runs real estate offices. Yeah, a sale, my dad told me many years ago that a sale is a transfer of enthusiasm. That's all it is. And if your energy isn't high enough in sales, you can't sell. And one of the problems with small corner real estate offices, and the, the, the quote that I said was the corner real estate office in a traditional format is going to die or dead because there's not enough energy in there. You have small teams, you don't have enough winning going on, you don't have enough listings coming in, you don't have enough sales being made, which creates more energy for other people to feed off. And that's one of our biggest issues in an office. How do you create the energy? How do you create the culture? So in my opinion, we're going what we're calling 10-4. We're changing from our 25 office locations down to 10 hubs in southeast Queensland, the spine of southeast Queensland, where we're going to have four offices in each. And that, that hub, each office will be, will be doing 20 listings and 10 sales. So there'll be 80 listings a month and 40 sales a month coming out of each office. Now you divide that amongst the, the months, days of the month, that's a lot of business going on which people can feed off. Okay. The buzzword in real estate for the last two years is disruption. Yeah. They keep coming it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Change, yeah, disruption. Yeah, 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 yeah. From your point of view, yeah. where do you see the industry changing? Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, a lot of people are talking about technology. I'm actually, and I was one of those people saying that technology will disrupt the industry. I don't believe it will at all. Our, our, our business is based on relationships. Otherwise, people would have been selling their houses privately many, many years ago. Everybody likes to have a relationship with someone who can handle it for them. So the disruption, I believe, in the industry will be for agencies to become very efficient with their costs and put their money directly where it needs to be, which is helping their salespeople and their property managers live, um, be, be the best they can be and earn a high income for themselves, and that will attract, attract the best of breed to the, of the industry, and then the, the business will flourish. I don't believe it's investing a whole heap in technology. Okay. Just fill me through a little bit more detail on this concept of moving from an office footprint yes. to a hub footprint. Yeah, sure. Explain that to okay. me. Okay, so we've got 25 locations around South East Queensland now. Those 25 locations will still, we're going to grow to 40 offices. So we've got 25 offices in 20, 25 locations now. Our goal is to grow to 40 offices, but in 10 locations or hubs. Now the hub will, one of the biggest issues of, of uh, an agency, as we all know, is the leadership of the agency. Especially if you're a selling principal, it's very hard to be a really strong leader and be a selling principal at the same time. And we've addressed that because you need to, as a principal, you still need to sell houses to a certain level. But when we have hubs and we have four offices in them, we can have what we call an agency leader or principal for each office and we can have a sales team of a maximum of four people under that. We can feed them leads and we can help develop them and the best of all, Tom, we only have to find 10 quality agency directors. Now, an agency director may come from industry or may not come from industry, but they'll be paid at a base rate of $300,000 plus a salary package, which enables us to attract best of breed leadership. And that's where I think a lot of agencies you can't afford to do in a corner office, where our hub model will be able to facilitate that. So this issue about the hub... Yeah and team benefit, the, 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 the team benefiting from leadership. Yes. Um, how, how do, in this, this change, yes. how will the team benefit from this change? I, I, I really do believe that culture kills strategy for, it eats it for breakfast. Yeah, right. culture is intangible. How do you put your hands on it? How do you make it work? What is culture? Culture is I want to go and work there and I feel engaged because I want to be working with my mates, my friends. I, 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 I feed off their energy, they feed off my energy. I love the results that come. One of the biggest changes, I believe, we've seen culture change in an office when we put the right leadership in place. That, 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 there is no, there's nothing more, and the linchpin that I can say, the linchpin for any office is the leader who creates the culture. Now, being able to hand select 10 people who can create good culture will help our team grow, not just as a, um, not, not just as a, as, a, as a real estate salesman selling more property, but how to buy houses, how to set yourself up financially for the future, giving you marital advice when you need it, how to help with your kids and what, where to go. We all have certain issues in life that we need wisdom for. 
Yeah. And we want to employ and, and put in place agency directors who are wise that can help everybody, not just with real estate sales. Come on, we know how to list and sell houses. Yeah. We don't need that. We need, there's a, there's a show, uh, um, Billions, I think it is, that has the, the psychologist in there that helps the high performance team. And they nearly need to be a psychologist to help them through the emotional rough patches. And I think that's where we can add the value by having high level leadership running the right culture. Well, let me tell you, as someone that's done 7,000 hours of coaching and training, yes. I'll tell you, Andrew, nearly every business problem is caused by non-business issues. Boom. I couldn't say it better myself. Thank you for that, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, well done.